But as far as teams tackling, starting to thinking about these things, did, have you seen more success with people just saying like, okay, low test everything, we're just going to go really deep into this, or have you seen more advantages with folks identifying problem areas or brand new projects, maybe starting there, starting a little bit smaller, one, one piece at a time? How do people attack the elephant on that front? Yeah, I think the approach makes sense. Like, you know, in, in many technical things and many engineering leaders are already accustomed to the idea of like start small and prove it out and, and move bigger. But when it comes to load testing, that's easier said than done because just the other day I was talking to, I think it was, it was a retail company. They were saying, oh, we do simple maths to figure out if we're going to scale. So we test on a 10th of the infrastructure and then we assume that whatever throughput we do, we can do 10x of because it's a tenth of the infrastructure. And then I kind of joke like, well, in production, you know, theory tends to break down and nothing ever goes as expected in production. And so what I'm trying to say is chunking things up when it comes to load testing is difficult. Like how do I run 10x load without production scale infra? And how do I run this comprehensive load test earlier in the life cycle without everyone being finished with their individual pieces of code, right? And so that gets that gets into like load testing getting delayed and pushed to the end of the SDLC and, and not running into kind of like tenable timelines. It's like, oh, we got to get it out. And in a full end-to-end -end environment, your meantime to figuring out, well, this is the cause of this delay. You find delay point one, delay point two, and then maybe that's all the time you have, right? Because it's, you know, before you have to push out when really there's, you know, more severe delays. And so that's kind of like, I think mocking plays a big piece in being able to isolate components and really doing more of like, what's like, what I think of as, as like a component level load test mm -hmm. that can really help shift left the, the component level load test. And I think is what a lot of retailers might be doing this holiday season to, to make sure at least they could start with their most critical APIs and, and isolate those.